Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Rat here from Rat Tarot, and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising monthly tarot reading for October 2018. And while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again, guys, that this is just a general reading for Pisces Star Sign, and this is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will explain you the meanings of the cards and the synergy in between them in their positions, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to their to, to your personal situation. If you want a, a reading exactly for your personal situation and me to make a sense of them and to align them to the situation itself, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And one more thing, if you are finding these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your star sign, specifically career and relationship, there is a extensive monthly tarot reading which can be purchased for uh, just a dollar forty nine from my website. And there we are going to make a couple of spread spreads, excuse me, one for a career and one for relationship. So going to the general spread for the month, now we do have a five card spread, the first card will be about the topic of the month, the second card will be about the um, intentions or what will be the best course of action, the third card here is about the obstacles which are causing predicaments, the fourth card will be about the resources that you can rely on or in other words what will truly help you throughout this month. And at the end, we do have the final outcome. So uh, let's see what you got here, guys. Now, the first one, that will be the Page of Cups. So this is going to be at just the month before the change. So uh, as we are having this spread here in the month of October, I expect that for you, Pisces, November is going to be a, a very significant month. All right? Because the Page of Cups is the time just before the change happens. The Page of, Pen the page of Cups, excuse me, is um, <clears throat> the time frame where you, the, the subject of the reading has to start adapting themselves for the forthcoming change which is looming on the horizon. So if you right now looking at the, uh, watch, uh, watching at this reading and listening to me and you're asking yourself, you know, well, things are going totally normal, you know, there is nothing changing, well, you have to look a little bit closer because... Um, Usually the uh, the symptoms of that change, they are uh, very petite at the start and they start to escalate further down the road. So you have to be extra vigilant throughout that month, seeing which field in your life is starting to adopt a, a different standpoint. And you have to align yourself to that standpoint. So we do have as a topic of, uh, of the month a, a card of warning here. And what will be the best thing to handle? Um, this uh, this specific state is if you don't be way too unyielding about the minor details of your situations like uh, the the aggravating behavior of your partner here and there into your relationship or um, as well the annoying behavior of your co-worker into your career but you should be rather more focused upon the grand scheme of things that a certain project could grant you a promotion you know or a certain event into your relationship could consolidate it etc etc and this is exactly how the change is going to start taking place when you be focused more upon the grand scheme of things rather than upon the minor details <clears throat> the next card here uh, is going to be about the um, intentions that you should adopt. So if you are um, if you are extra vigilant and you scale where that change is going to take place before others and before the change is actually starting to to take a, a tremendous place here, the 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 Knight of Cups <laughs> is pointing that you can shape the manifestation of this newfound transformation by your image. So this this knight is a hard worker and I know that many will argue with me that this is the Knights of Pentacles. 
In some ways, the Knight of Pentacles is even a harder worker than the Knight of Cups, but the Knight of Works is uh, the Knight of Cups is also a, a hard worker because the Knight of Cups does not allow his happiness to fall into the fate's hands. The Knight of Cups always holds the cup of his emotions, or in other words, his happiness in front of himself, and always moves into the direction where the cups drags him. So what that card points as intentional-wise is that this month you, Pisces, should only contribute and involve yourself into activities, deeds, and undertakings which are pleasant for you to do so. You should not kind of involve yourself into activities, deeds, and undertakings which um, are creating a feeling of poignancy, uh, are creating a feeling of, of, of aggravation as well and in generally makes you miserable and that is further supported by the page of cups I didn't want it to say it there because I didn't know I didn't knew what card we we're going to have in the second position intentional wise but the page of cups also contemplates on his emotions here with the cup full of fish and the fish is about um, insights the fish is about knowledge so this month you are going to also examine your emotions where your emotions lies and you are going to straight forward for uh, fulfilling the emotional wholeness should you have such right or just boosting the uh, pleasant manifestation of your emotions the challenges which are causing predicaments here, we do have a person which is the 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 King of Pentacles. So for what it seems, you will rely on someone, or at least you will need the approval <clears throat> of someone to do a certain things or to involve yourself into a, a certain undertakings. If this is about your career, that could be your boss or your supervisors. Um, supervisor if this is about your relationship that could be a, a parent of your boyfriend or a girlfriend all right or it could be uh, them themselves asking you what you can truly contribute for the relationship so this is kind of like a, a very trivial scenery that we do have here you know uh, having your partner in relationship questioning your intentions all right and asking you to change uh, because they cannot find future in your relationship if you are the same as you are right now. And to me personally, I'm just saying personally, that is um, bullshit. Because if one relationship should go forward, the person next to you should love you for what you are. But that is personally my opinion. For you, this person will ask you to prove, quote-unquote, that their investment will be returned back. So in other words, they will need a reassurance that the work is going to happen, that, you know, it's going to be productive, it's going to be beneficial or lucrative. It does depend which kind of field you are finding yourself at. Just to give you an example, if you're going, for example, in a court case, that could be a proposal for a deal, but you have to give even more than the person from the other side is going to give you and yet it depends what is in stake there so you will have to make your decision but if you think that you will be able to play out that person and you will invest minimum and will get out maximum out of them that is not happening guys i mean they very well know what is what is the price or kind of like how much it costs what is the value of the situation the court case the project the relationship etc etc and they will be unyielding about the minimum of what you have to give to them so they can be, they can acknowledge you or they can be um you know you can have them as um as a support what you can rely on, however, throughout the month, we do have the tower card. So you can rely, uh, that is a, a very peculiar, because the tower card as a, a very, uh, as a, a positive manifestation, it does expresses up a, a clearance. It does expresses up a, a certain surprises, which will serve you a, a great favor. But in the same time, uh, they will ask you to be very agile with your mentality. 
So you have to be a very open-minded in order to take advantage of the tower card and this is something that you can rely on and something that will help you but by all means you know you may kind of miss it as well so you as I said you have you need to have a agile mind in order to foresee those opportunities. So what those opportunities will most likely start with that will be a certain insights that you are going to have you know one moment you are thinking one thing and then at the next moment suddenly you are kind of finding its solution. Uh, this is not your inner voice, this is not your intuition, it is just that you uh, were able to cumulatively scale, you know, the arguments and the proofs that you have around you and finally you have pieced up the, uh, the, the, the picture, I mean, together. And uh, it is very important that you act upon those insights that you are going to have. Now this is displayed here by the uh, uh, by the flash of lightning. The flash of lightning in this card symbolizes those certain insights and what those certain insights are going to do is to transform the situation tremendously and it is exactly from where the change starts to happen. It is exactly from where you're going to put that person in an uncomfortable position and maybe you will be able to strike a, a better deal with them because it's all about the deal that you are going to do with this person. Yes, we do have a prime position here with the Page of Cups, but the most important card in this reading is the King of Pentacles, because uh, that king wants to take out or pull out from the situation at least as much as he's giving and that is your prime goal here to do the same thing. Otherwise, they will pull more, much more than, you know, they will invest and that will deprive you in many ways. So it's kind of like a race. But don't forget what is in stake. In stake is the change that it is looming here in November. So uh, at the end, you know, the means that you're going to pull from that deal, that bargain here with this person, depending on what the situation is, will be invested into that change and maybe you at the end of the day, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you will be, you will end up much more uh, proficient as, um, you know, as a, um, as a end goal. Or much more proficient in the um, in the grand scheme of things regarding the deal, and at the end we do have how this is gonna end up. All right, we do have the King of Wands, and this is how you sit at the end after all this is done. So that card here suggests that you will be fully prepared for what is coming in November. Remember, this month is all about preparing yourself for November. And uh, what happens with the King of Wands is that the King of Wands is very aware what the situation is about to be, what is going to happen further into the future, because the King of Wands is someone who um, who is always on top of things, all right, and because they have um, their performance always is at its maximum, which your performance will be either career-wise or relationship-wise, you will know that nothing could really go downhill. So what will be important at the end of the month here with the King of Wands guys is that uh, first of all you continue to maintain your positive attitude here and at the end all the means that you have won from the deal that you did with this person should be uh, invested accordingly here and uh, at the end the King of Wands as you sit as this card the King of Wands very well know where the means can be or kind of like uh, well I kind of repeat myself a lot, but um, basically the King of Wands knows how uh, things are going to work out and knows how to, uh, how to make an efficient approach moving on forward. Now, this card points that you will kind of lift your bar of expectations and lift your bar of performance as well. So that could be a prerequisite for a change of scenery into your career in the month of November where you will get promotion, reassignment, raise in salary. Or if we're talking about relationship, you had changed from a, a 
for example, a very passive person to someone who really holds the steeds of the chariot and is pointing the way. That is the point of the King of Wands. So you do have a month of transformation here, starting from realizing that something has to change, something is changing and this is inevitable and you have to kind of scope it fast and start working accordingly so you can shape it according to your image by striking the deal with this person here, relying on the sudden surprises, sudden insights that you're going to have about them, about the situation and at the end you know all the means that you have won throughout the month either time you know leverages against uh, uh for other people etc etc serve uh, not services but uh yeah they, they are also services in my language but it's kind of like a um favors that you uh that you have to be returned to you all right that could be invested into the upcoming change and that change could kind of force a, a huge transformation for the better in your life. So that being said, Pisces, this was your monthly tarot reading for October 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this is a, a general reading for uh, Pisces star sign. Guys, this is not your personal reading. Therefore, I have explained you the meanings of the cards. They are synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make a, a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want a, me to make a spread for your personal situation and to align them to it, that is a subject of a personal reading. Uh, and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And at the end, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month, uh, specifically career and relationship, you can uh, purchase an extensive monthly tarot reading for just $1.49 in which we are focusing specifically on career and relationship, not just a general one. So, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.